welcome to my channel I'm Scott and in this video we're gonna talk about BTCS and we're gonna go through their latest presentation BTCS went public way back in 2014 so this company started way before the other crypto mining companies came out in 2014 they were mining Bitcoin in 2017 they had a digital asset treasury last year they added proof-of-stake and this year they added the first Bitcoin dividend called the Bividend. At the end of 2021, they have 38 million of cash and crypto assets. And they generated over 1 million of revenue from their blockchain infrastructure. And look how much their stock has grown year over year, 900%. They're debt free and they have a high insider ownership. When you see a high insider ownership, that means the executives of the company are putting their money where their mouth is. They have faith in their company and they're willing to put their hard-earned money into it. They own all the big cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, etc. They offer so much more than most crypto mining companies out there. They're getting into NFTs, DeFi, and the metaverse. Blockchains are the future and BTS is leading the way. We've evolved so much over the generations. So what is a blockchain? It's a distributed ledger maintained by a network of computer nodes that verify and validate transaction. An example of how it works is a transaction occurs. There's a network of computers that validate the transaction. Once that transaction is validated, it's combined with other transactions to create a new block. And that new block is added to the ledger. Now that new block is permanently added to the blockchain, so it cannot be altered, it's a unique block. Some people feel Bitcoin will take over gold and be the new reserve. Still gold is much larger, valued at 11.5 trillion dollars, Bitcoin 740 billion. Right now the top four blockchains are valued at 400 billion dollars, and the estimate for the World Wide Web is 30 trillion dollars. BTCS is focusing on next generation proof of stake blockchains. This will serve as the infrastructure for Web 3.0 and power DeFi, NFT, and the metaverse ecosystems. Because if you think about it, crypto has a lot of similarities to the World Wide Web. The web is also a decentralized open space. Blockchains will just take the web to a new level. DeFi, NFTs, and the metaverse all utilize smart contract based blockchains. And that's where it seems like things are headed right now and this company is on top of that initiative. And proof of stake is so much more efficient than proof of work. Bitcoin uses proof of work, Ethereum uses proof of stake. I'll explain what proof of stake is later on. Then there's delegated proof of stake chains like Cosmos, Polkadot, and Cardano. And this company is planning on integrating that into their platform. This slide shows us the company's business model. BTCS secures proof of stake blockchains to power DeFi, NFTs, and Metaverse. They earn revenue by staking their digital assets. So if you have Ethereum, you could sign up to BTS and stake your Ethereum and let your crypto work for you. The company is investing in technical infrastructure on leading blockchains. You can see them below. What I really like about this company is they provide a one-stop shop for everything. If you have crypto portfolios in different places, you can put it all together on their platform and view it in one shot. You could bring all your crypto together in one place, run validator nodes, and boost your revenue by scaling and growing. And of course this company makes money by taking a small operator fee. So what is staking? So instead of having your crypto just sit there and not earn anything, Similar to your cash just sitting in your savings account, you could stake your crypto and earn more crypto or earn a little cash from that staking. A good example is staking is like locking up your assets in a bank account. And the crypto is not locked up forever, it's for a short term, however long you want it, and you can earn a little interest on that. The way you earn money on your crypto is it's used to validate transactions on the blockchain. The more crypto you have, the more transactions you can validate. And this company will do all that for you. Here's a list of the crypto assets the company has on their balance sheet. 8,097 Ethereum, 90 Bitcoin, they have 258,000 Cardano, Tezos, and a bunch more. The value of these assets is $36 million. But if you look on their balance sheet, it only says 12.3 million. Because cryptocurrency assets are considered long-lived intangible assets. 
So they're carried on the balance sheet at their lowest cost. So if you bought one Bitcoin for $40,000, then next quarter, the price of Bitcoin was $30,000. You have to report $30,000 on your balance sheet. Let's say the following quarter, Bitcoin was $50,000. You have to report it at the $30,000 at the lowest dollar amount, even if it gets up to a million dollars a coin. You can never increase the value of your Bitcoin while you hold it. If you buy more Bitcoin, of course you can increase the value, but you have to carry each Bitcoin at the lowest value it was worth while you held it. But when you sell the Bitcoin, then you report all the gains on your income statement. It's similar to land. If you buy a piece of land in New York City in 1900 for $10,000, your balance sheet would say $10,000. Even if today that piece of land is worth a billion dollars, your balance sheet would still say $10,000. All long-lived intangible assets have to be reported the same way. You could see how much their portfolio has grown. It was under 1 million for a few quarters. Then in Q2 2020, it broke through 1 million, then 4 million at the end of 2020, and it grew nine times from this point to the current quarter. It even says right here, US GAAP requires us to carry our digital assets at their lowest value since acquisition. Look at all the blockchains secured by BTCS, Ethereum, Tezos, Cosmos, Avalanche, and Bitcoin is not on this list because it's proof of work, not proof of stake. There's a lot less flexibility with Bitcoin than these other types of cryptocurrencies. And this is what I love about this company, this one-stop shop dashboard. You can consolidate all your crypto portfolios across multiple exchanges. You might have some crypto in Coinbase, maybe some in Kraken, and it gets really confusing. You can view all your crypto on one screen using this company's platform. And not just view it, you can evaluate the performance of your crypto, you can see what was staked, how much you earned from that, so many things. And I've used their website before, it's really user friendly. And the graphs are nice, very easy to see. So if you had a bunch of crypto, you can view it in different ways. You can view it in a pie chart, you can look at your performance over time. Any way you want to look at it, they'll have that option. They're always trying to improve their platform, adding new screens, and of course adding more cryptocurrencies. Look how undervalued this company is compared to their competitors. Marathon Digital market cap 2.3 billion is trading at almost six times cash. Riot is nine times cash, Clean Spark 11.6 times. But look at Bitcoin, it's almost trading at cash, 1.1 times cash. Its market cap is so low, only 42 million. It's a fraction of these other market caps. And they have a top-notch CEO. He's a really nice guy. He knows his stuff. I had a few conversations with him. He has a ton of experience in this space. Also, one of their directors is Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin. Today, we use a centralized system when we buy things. And it's not just when we buy things. It's pretty much any transaction. Not only are there delays, there's fees, and there's a big risk of someone stealing your information. And that's all eliminated in a decentralized network. It seems like a no-brainer, but I think over time we're all gonna get there. The way a blockchain works is say a transaction occurs. That transaction is broadcasted to a peer-to-peer -peer network that consists of computers or nodes. The nodes use algorithms to validate the transaction. And the transaction could be anything. It could be cryptocurrency, it could be a contract, it could be anything then that transaction is combined with other transactions once it's verified. And a new block is created. And that block is added to the existing blockchain ledger, which makes it permanent. Nobody can change it. And that's the whole process. The transaction is complete. The reason proof of work is so inefficient, Bitcoin uses proof of work, is because it's so expensive. Some people have mined Bitcoin and needed to get the Bitcoin in order to pay their electricity bills. So it takes an enormous amount of computer power. And in order to hack proof of work, a hacker would need to have a computer that's more powerful than 51% of the network. Proof of stake is so much more efficient and it requires a lot less energy. And it's a lot safer because a hacker would need to own 51% of all cryptocurrency, which is pretty much impossible. I like this graph, it visually shows you how things are evolving. In 1969 was the first computer message. In 1972, email started. 
But that took until 1991 until people like me and you can use the internet. I started using the internet in 1993. I remember using CompuServe and Prodigy to talk to people around the world. That was before AOL. Then things really stepped up with Google and MySpace. 2009 was the first Bitcoin transaction. In 2015, Ethereum was released. In 2018, big companies were working on blockchains like Walmart and Microsoft. You can see it took 20 years for the internet to transition from proof of concept to mass adoption from the early 70s to the early 90s. Bitcoin came out 13 years ago and that's the proof of concept. Don't be one of those people in the early to mid 90s that said the internet was just a fad. So don't get left in the dust. Do your due diligence now so you can capitalize on all the future trends. So let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe, or comment below. Also, if you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.